The art and artistic creed of Susan Dobe share a universality and a synchronicity. She is an experimenting artist who is constantly searching for the new in herself and in the world. She connects the past with the present with questions of the future. She constantly is asking about life's most important matters. While searching for art's importance in the world, she is questioning humanity's and the world's mystical secrets. The art of Susan Dobe simultaneously reflects her rational concept of the world and a meditative point of view. The observed world is expressed through her emotional impulses. There are different periods and a search for new styles evident in the course of her career. Optimism and love of life radiate from her and her art. It is my pleasure today to be sitting here with artist Susan Dobe, a local Monrovia, California artist who has been in the art world showing artwork all around the world for the last uh, more than um, 40 years. And, more, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Susan, thank you for, for being on the show today. Thank you so much for coming. I really, I am very happy and especially from you whom I know for a long, long time. And this is a great opportunity. Today we're talking about impressions of China. Last year, in 2011, October, we had the opportunity to go to China with a tourist group. And we visited uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, I don't know if I pronounce it right. And uh, it was really a very great experience. But before I go further, I would like to talk a little bit about my art. People have been asking me, give us an artist statement. And for the past, this will answer you, almost the past 50 years, my answer has been that I am searching for the balance between matter and spirit. For many years, I used conventional materials and I express myself on either paper, mostly on canvas. But the past more than five years, I have been experimenting with the help of the computer. I feel my original, the images of my original paintings sometimes into the computer and sometimes I do with photographs and other images. And this process I call image integration. This is a tremendous opportunity for artists to investigate the possibility of this technique. Well, China is a fantastic, a fantastic complex country and to my knowledge, this is the first country where two ideology go, uh, work, uh, go side by side. And because of the image integration technique, I, I can try, I really can try to express the complexity of China and its people. So there are four categories. One is social, the other is children, the third is impressions, and the fourth category is the past of China. So now why don't we go ahead and look at, at impressions of China, and in particular Susan Dobe's impressions of China. Tell us about this image. Yes, we were at the Kentucky Fried Chicken place and that was a mural kind of on the wall, this image. And so I took a picture. And then the city of Shanghai, I integrated the two images together. You want to learn this technique, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is uh, sky is the limit. It's interesting going between the two the um, the laundry with the kind of golden building, climbing the ladder of success, I guess. I am glad that uh, it got your attention because I don't personally I don't want to talk too much about it because the visual should really express itself. Like I said, these are facts. I didn't make them up. This is what I have seen. 
Again, this one is the gold bull and the gold broom. And uh, I hope people have imagination to figure it out. Almost looks like he's cleaning up after the bull. Well, that's your saying. I didn't say it. <laughs> Contrast. The top was a poster, by the way. The bottom is from real life. Bride with poster. Here I just positioned the contemporary woman on the poster with the real life bride. Now this one is one of my favorite. Elegance is an attitude. And hopefully again, your imagination will work. So you, you have composited the working men with the hats and, and the, uh, the watch commercial, I guess it would be. That's right. Uh -huh. Time is running out. Response. Again, the poster image with the life. I took the photograph of the life. He wasn't posing with the poster, by the way. Popular woman. What were you thinking about when you put this one together? Uh, there is a new woman who image, and it's, it's very much influenced by the Western civilization, if you call it. And uh, I think the guys are more attracted, at least, you know, to this glamorous woman. I don't know. This is just my observation. I don't know what's going really on. She, uh, she, um, she reminds me of those 1950s, um, you know, the soap commercials and, you know, yes. the, the, uh, the old, you know, style, uh, you know, the lady with the dishwashing apron. Could be know, the, that the I'm influenced because I yeah. was around <laughs> in those days. It feels like it. It feels a very, it's a very uh, commercial. But I didn't image. make the poster, you know. Yeah. This is one of my favorites, I think. Apartment in, apartments in Shanghai. It just reminds me, every time I see this one, it reminds me of how uh, there's so many lives in each one of those little windows. Yes, yes. It's so interesting, exciting for me if, if I hear somebody else's. Whenever I have an exhibit, I always like to ask people, what do they, what is, what do they feel about the image? Leaving for fresh air. And that's very obvious that uh, the air is very smog. I think sometimes even worse than ours. So people go out as much as possible. It almost looks like, a, is, is that a, uh, an animal made out of uh, trees? Yeah, I, I, again, I, it's an integration of, from another part of the city, which was a park, a children's park. So, but I symbolize the, the going out for fresh air that's already in, the, in their mind to go to nature. Street sweeper. Shanghai is very, very clean. So is Beijing because people are working at it. These are the guys who keep it clean. Another sweet street sweeper. I like the texture. It feels almost like a basket. Almost like he's. It, it, it's a. Uh, it's got a, a very graphic quality about it. Actually, the building is the gold building that I just positioned with the street sweeper. Red arm band. This reminds me of, of uh, um, communist, uh, maybe, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, the, the whole, uh, I mean, there's many times in history, I guess you could say, there's been Yes, you it's know well something, that was my same feeling about this uh, person with that armband, but I talked to a couple of people who are from China, and I projected, you know, some of the, the slides, 
And they said that this guy actually is just on the street and just keeping whatever. To me, it was a little bit suspicious, but... He feels like, it, it, it almost feels like it's, it could be a Star of David or it could be a Nazi symbol. Or be, I don't know. You know I uh, didn't feel, you know, again, I just photographed But it. knowing your background coming from communist Hungary, yes. you know, you, you, you already are set to see you know, yes, you're right, music. you're right. I couldn't help myself but see somebody who might be, you know, uh, I don't know how do you call those people who spy on each other. So I, I had the feeling, but I don't want to say it. So many words, the image is there. Gardeners resting. Artist in close, close season factory. Is she making toys? Yes, yeah, she making she's painting dolls. Very little detailed artwork. And I yeah. The next one is poster with bottle. I like this one. This this guy feels like he's He's got all his bottles and he's, and he's on his way to Oz or some great goal or something. Yes. I mean, it feels like. <laughs> now this one is, a, to me, it's a very important image because this is what I was talking about, the two ideology. Here, the young pioneers are between the communist and the capitalistic ideology. When they grow up, they have to choose one of them or the two ideologies will exist in harmony, only time will tell. They're at a crossroads. That's the word? <laughs> yes, they are. Tiananmen Tien Tien Square. The same question about the future. Go this. Again, the same question. Where are you going? The next category is children of China. Here, father with daughter, and there is a reaching hand to touch the beautiful baby. My impressions was that the children I loved so much in China Whenever we went to parks and places, that was just so much affection. I like how he's looking back at the at the uh, the statue of the ancient. Uh, There's a walking uh, sacred way, sacred way walk. Oh, these are the baby said the poster. Is it? Are they twins, or is this two? This is a trick with uh, with. Uh, Digital trick, you might say. What's funny is that they look like they're posing for the ad because they're 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 color coordinated to the. It's the same child except in different pose. You see, the one is showing the piece. But is it? But it, are they related to the poster in the background? No, because they because <laughs> no, the color No, I was scheme... asking these Chinese people about. Actually, they were mathematicians in a convention. And I was asking them about it. No, it's, it's just a furniture store, so it doesn't conflict. It doesn't uh, hurt each other, the two images. But again, it's that juxtaposition of, of, of old and, and new or modern and uh, you know traditional. But it, it just feels like it, it, the whole thing could almost be a commercial ad because of the way that they're, they're dressed. Because it matches the colors of the advertisement. It wasn't intentional for me, but if it comes out, that way it's okay. This one is all those toys. Again, integrating the little boy that we saw before. Now this one is my, one of my favorite again. Doll among dolls. Here I use one of my original paintings with this composition. The dolls were in a factory, the little girls was another place and my painting was my paintings, that's it. <laughs> so three concepts are integrated. You like it too, okay. This one, it is cool. 
why it is cool? Because probably, I don't know from they maybe they watch our televisions and the cool is in America, at least as I thought it started here, that's cool, you know, man, it is cool. That's, they, they, they're, they're getting their, their imagery that from American imagery. Company of Pioneers. This one, oh, still from Children of China. This one I wanted to ex uh, symbolize. The little girl is the present, the emperor is the past, and the people walking up the stairs are the future. Where's, where are these stairs? What is this place? You see, that is uh, the problem that I didn't pay too much attention, <laughs> but my husband could help me. He would tell you, he would be happy to tell you because he, is, uh, he loves this picture. Now, this one is just impressions. This one called Bride on Rocks. Again, I like your imagination to work. This one is captured. After the Olympics. Chef's food. There are great, there is great food and excellent hospitality, I can say that. The hat. Here I combined just the position, the, the past and the present, the contemporary. Also here, pink hat. This one always, I, I, I watch this one and it reminds me of um, Audrey Hepburn or something out of Roman Holiday or something. It's, Ooh, you know, she with would the hat. be flattered, huh? And <laughs> it just, it feels, it's this very nice combination of Western and Eastern, Oh, you know. Thank you. This is called Western Influence. I could comment on it, but I don't. I have to hold myself back. This is old age. The aging process, human and tree getting old alike, except the human gets older sooner. Old couple. I was told that the people are very, old people are treated with respect and Carving by nature and man. Two generations. Reminiscence. Players in the park. I noticed that one of the men left hand is missing. One of the players. Here is shopkeeper. As we were walking through an old neighborhood, I saw this guy. And I thought it was funny because if I walked in, I don't know if he would wake up if I wanted to steal something. <laughs> Loving relationship. Just like in Beverly Hills. Shanghai night. Photographer at the Great Wall. No, this uh, one is the past of China. Spirit of the emperor. Spirit at the Great Wall. 
I, mean, I called it funny dragon, but I was told that this is a lion. So, excuse me, lion or dragon to me, <laughs> he's funny. Oh, he, there again, I use my original painting also with the image to enhance the funniness and the mood. This one is called From the Past. The Guard. Fighters on the rooftop. Is that your painting behind it? No. I love the spiral imagery, it's great. Okay, on the top of the world, to me it represents positive energy. On the top of the world, negative energy. Wise camel. Here I have to say that the, the wise camel foresees a future when humans do not have to kill each other. Talking history. That was the last one. These were photos are some of them that I used in integrating. This is just gives you a sample as I was uh, following 40 or among the 40 tourists that I took real fast shots at, and I used it for image integration. You can. I think you can recognize many of them that I used. But you see, this is the difference, what you can do with a camera or what you can do with image integration. With the image integration, you can add your uh, feelings to it. Well, like I said, I'm very happy and very glad that I, you gave me the opportunity to share this experience. And I do hope that I give a, just a little glimpse into the Chinese people. And I, I, well, I, I really think that we should get to know each other more and more. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and let's, let's spend a couple more minutes talking about this. Um, okay. You said this, this is allowing people to get to know each other more. Um, is that why you did this? Is it, I mean, you, you no, it was this? a complete uh, incident that we had this opportunity to go to China. But the reason we grabbed the opportunity, because so many times in the media, so many times in private conversation, China is coming up, either a negative or a positive way. And I thought I am a curious, and so is my husband, we are curious types, and we had to grab the opportunity to go. And uh, I, I it was a great experience. And I, I really feel that before we make any one way or the other, any final judgment, we should know each other. Do you, will you continue to work in this format? With the image integration, definitely, because it's only the beginning. This is an endless process. This will be the future. Uh, it's my prediction that uh, no, you know, there are always evolving the, the way individual or, or collectively how they express themselves, but this is the future, technology is here. Whether we like it or we don't like it, whether it's a stranger or, a, or, or whatever, but that, that, that's my prediction. Where do you see this project going? Um, uh, what kind of effect would you like to, like to have it have? Well, it's, it's so amazing that I got into it. <laughs> the whole process is so amazing that it even surprised me that I got so excited about it 
And the way I feel, if I feel it so strongly, my intuition tells me that I should share with others. And hopefully I'm going to submit it to different places and, uh, and hopefully. So just out of curiosity, what do you see as, as the future of China and the future of China and America together? The question, how, how are we going to evolve? How are we going to view only from the economic point of view or really as a collective humanity? Because if you, we see China as part of the humanity as we are, then there is not that much difference. So we should have the same goal globally. Then we wouldn't have problem. But then I know it's idealistic and we should, <laughs> I don't want to get into deeper into politics, but that's the problem. Greed and uh, egotism gets in the way. But I pray and hope, like on one of my images, the camel hopes that we change. And as you have a television or whatever that show, that um, blog, and that's fantastic what you are doing, that you are waking up people's mind about, uh, like I said, uh, to find the balance between material and, and the spirit between matter and soul. The thing that I think you bring out in your, in your artwork here in this is that, is that uh, there needs to be a balance between the material and the non-material, the history and the future, you know, the young and the old. I mean, as, as soon as we get caught up in the, uh, just going up that ladder to the, the idealized image in the sky, you know, we're, we're not living in the moment. You know, you're not, you're not caring about your environment to the people around you. Or, mm -hmm. You know, those, those types of things. I, I love the images in, in Impressions of China that show the children, and especially the ones where the children are caught between two different systems, the, the communism and the capitalism, you know, the banks and the communist flag. You know, it, it's like, which way are those children gonna go? Because it's up to them. And it is the parallel with our problem. How about our children? We have the same questions and we have to, have, we have to find some kind of similar solutions. What will be their future? Let's talk a little bit about your background, you know, and, and about where you, you come from as an artist. You know, you, you uh, uh, tell me a little bit about your background. My background? Yeah. What year was I born? <laughs> where was I born? I can tell you where was I born. In Budapest, Hungary, and... During the Cold War. Uh, we wouldn't escape if it was paradise. So we did escape from Hungary. And uh, like I said, it's too bad, unfortunately, that uh, they didn't practice the socialism, so-called socialism. They didn't practice, unfortunately, it didn't work. So it's, it's not so much of the, what kind of ism we have. It's how the humans uh, handle it. How do, we, how do we use it? It's no matter what kind of religion. If in the name of the religion, people do harm. So that's what I learned from my childhood as I can tell, but that could take another long, long time. We'll do another episode all about that. That would be nice. <laughs> How have you evolved as an artist over the years to come to this point now where you're working in the digital medium? Well, I started out as a commercial artist, if that's what would help. I worked for the Pasadena Star News and the Hmong and the different Los Angeles corporations or whatever and it wasn't enough, I couldn't express myself well. Although that was, I have to admit, that my artwork was exhibited at the Museum of Science and Industry in those days. And then, because I didn't get fulfilled, I started to, well, it goes back to where I was a little girl, but here I started to draw and paint again, and I was invited to a friend, a very, a Frank Lloyd Wright owner, artist. She invited me to participate in, a, in an exhibit and uh, it was very successful with all the modesty. I say that it was and once you get hooked 
and they said nice things, and then I went on and on, and it's a long, long way. But I am a curious person, and I would like, as the way I feel as I evolve, then the way I express myself has to evolve and change. Every day we change, every minute. I don't want to convince anybody, but that is a fact, it is a fact. So I like to, I am curious and I like to uh, investigate what is available for me technique-wise to express myself. Why don't we uh, walk around a little bit and look at some of your art and you can tell oh, me about I love some of the things to. you've done. I love to. <laughs> tell me about your art. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, this is called uh, Four Seasons, this is Immersion, and uh, uh, many pieces of this series were just recently exhibited at Shumei Art Center. By the way, uh, most of the time I work with series because mm -hmm. once I start one thing, one thing evolves from. So is this a series of paintings? Yes, there are other pieces. Mm -hmm. Yes. T tell me about what this is. Mm -hmm. We were in Hawaii, and after Hawaii, nature influenced me mm -hmm. to do this also. Mm -hmm. Other pieces I'd like okay. to show you let's, too. Uh, let's look over here. Cleopatra is one of my f uh, husband's favorite piece. And I would like you to, so you know, whenever I have an exhibit, mm -hmm. I put on the spot the observer. They think they're looking at me and, you know, sometimes criticizing. I would like you to see, what do you see in that painting? Let's see. Cleopatra. You know, to me, this is the three faces of, yeah, of, of Cleopatra. There's, there's different sides of her personality. The side that she shows the world, and then the side that she shows you got it. Uh, herself. And, and there's, and it's almost like drama, uh, drama and comedy. It's the, the mask, the, 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 yes. the frown and the smile, and, and then the, the face of the regalness. And, yes. and also, I like the third eye here. You know, the, this is the uh, yes, sy yes. symbolizing the spirituality. Uh -huh. Oh, that's, uh, I am happy. Now you make me happy. <laughs> that's what I like to observe so they can build their imagination. That one. Let's, let's look at this one over here. My daughter, when she was uh, about 15 years old. This is amazing. This is a yeah. really, really nice one. So this was back in what year? Oh my goodness. A long time ago. This says, uh, I think. 78? 78. Yeah, 78. A long time. I know a, a gallery wanted me to paint this style, mm -hmm. and they told me that I, I should produce about two pieces a week. Mm -hmm. I said, no, thank you. If this one just will answer to you mm -hmm. that there are choices that you constantly have to make between whether financial reward or experimenting and finding yourself through the art. So, so they, they wanted you to paint more things like this because, it, yes. because they, yeah, they sell. Yes, that's how, yes. And, and you said, no, I'm not no, gonna do what no, I wanna, I no, wanna do what I wanna do as no. an artist. No, but then, you know, I do have a husband who mm. supports me and mm -hmm. I could afford to do that. Well, this one from Greece, like uh, Volu Agmani. This one, I, I don't, this one, I don't know how to, what to talk about because mm -hmm. either it does give you a little catharsis or mm -hmm. feeling, mm -hmm. but there isn't any hidden meanings. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's interesting. I'm... And the sunflowers too. This is from Provence, mm -hmm. the sunflowers. I was in an artist colony. Mm -hmm. I took my husband, he could come because he's doing design work mm -hmm. for me. And so he was treated as an other artist. Mm -hmm. He loved that place. And over there I just could paint freely. And I didn't paint it over there. I made sketches mm -hmm. and at home. Wow. That's again another Provence. Uh, Tell me about this one. This one's what? This is again from Provence at the mm -hmm. same time. Mm -hmm. And this is a place where they export the pigment, the red pigment. Mm -hmm. And I just don't know. I cannot even get closer to the feeling when you go down and all those red and it's fantastic Provo, place. Provence, Utah? Pro Provence, France. Oh, Provence, France. I see. Yes, I see. that too. Provence, mm -hmm. France and the other one is Greece. Wow. 
Now this, this one's an interesting one over here. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> and everybody is. <laughs> Do you think we should be? Maybe you. Yeah, let's let's yeah. let's. Uh, Why let's, let's not talk about there? It. So so so, uh, so. This was a really one of your earlier paintings, right? Yes, it was mm -hmm. one of the. Very how early. how early? Uh, oh, so early that my my son, who is forty seven, he, forty my God, forty seven years old, he was five, four or five years old, and I was painting this piece while he was taking a nap. Mm -hmm. And when he came out, he says, Mama, it's a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. Now everybody asks when I saw this painting, that they don't see the cat. Mm -hmm. It's uh, only a child only who a can child see it because the adult wants to see the nude. <laughs> but the child doesn't care about the nakedness of a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's why. What, so is I, the, what is the name of this painting? Is there a name? Uh, oldest Mystery. Oldest Mystery. Mm -hmm. And did you and, and and so it's a double image, basically. That's, it's a, it's yeah. up to you. <laughs> so yeah, you can definitely I can see the cat. You see the okay. ears. Yeah. And, now and you can. Eye. Now you became a child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this one. This is oh, this, this is one, one I really again. Like it's here. another series that mm -hmm. uh, it has more metaphysical mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. or feeling behind it because of the different levels, the different stages as we go through. Mm -hmm. The awareness level is changing. Mm -hmm. And so with those white uh, squares, I symbolize the different level of awareness where you are. So this is about human consciousness to you? Yes. You know, so, so, and this is about the different stages of human consciousness that yes. we go through in our lives? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so beginning where and ending up where? Well, uh, the beginning actually is around, which is the earthly, do you see the colors and the shapes? Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, mm -hmm. those are the, where we bond to earth, mm -hmm. and where you have the spiritual journey. I don't know. Each one of us starts at a different point. I don't see a highlight because I never got there by myself. Mm -hmm. I never got to the highest awareness mm -hmm. level. So I just put a different, uh, just symb symbolically, because even with this painting, I don't have. The answer. I have questions mm -hmm. with my paintings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You you're just there to ask the questions. Yes. Yeah. Even from myself. Mm -hmm. To me, to me, it, you know, it, it feels like these are our portals. You know that you're going through into different. Yes. You know, into different areas, mm -hmm. you know, different dimensions. It's a very interesting painting. Uh, as you did see in the other room, mm -hmm. this is from that series. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm sure you can recognize the style and the treatment. Yeah, I, one of the things that's so interesting to me is that you explore so many different kinds of styles. You know, there's a, each one of these could be done by almost a different artist. I mean, it's like you, you can... You're, well, I hope not. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, <laughs> yes, it, yes. It, all has, it all has your sense of... To me, it's like a sense of wonder. No, the reason and, I said hope not, mm -hmm. because... Uh, if you are honest with yourself, then the spirit, mm -hmm. the, the driving force comes through whether, I am not trying to say, but let's say Picasso had different mm -hmm. periods, different experiments, mm -hmm. and still you know, because the spirit, because something is so strong that wants to get through. I really don't want to take the credit. I am an instrument, like a radio, that projects. I think I get some from some place, the inspiration some place. When I am working, I am not even myself. I know it sounds funny, but that's the way it is. So I hope that that spirit, whether it was the early uh, period or present or as long as I live, I hope it's behind each artwork. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, a, it's a phrase that I've seen again and again when I read about or when I talk to artists is, is you know, it's like I'm not the one making the art. Yeah. It's just coming through me. You yeah, know? And, yeah. And, and it is like that, uh, um, it's like you're painting with the, the portals. You know, it's like you're just going through one layer of consciousness to another to another and you're, you're, and you're tapping into a place that's so much higher than yeah. room to And that's the difference between because when people are producing artwork for, for 
for the public, for the co commercial purpose, then it's losing this this mm -hmm. search, mm -hmm. this this hunger for expressing yourself and finding yourself, trying to find yourself. Mm -hmm. Those are I like to talk to you about this Epicurean. Oh wow, this is I really like this one. Can we turn the light on? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Go, uh, step, step over here, show us, show us what this is. That was, uh, oh, how many years ago I should watch something. This was in the 80s or something like that. It was my son who caught my attention to the Epicurean uh, subject because there were so many stores, and now they are, but it was a starting point where everywhere this, this uh, sophisticated, uh, I wish I had the vocabulary how to express it, but to, so much emphasis of not the right food, but the elegant stores. And uh, so anyhow, it started my imagination and uh, I've been told, for example, this wouldn't be a good commercial piece because although the colors are vibrant and lively, there are still some message with maybe not consciously I did with the big knives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the raw meat. Mm -hmm. So it depends. If somebody wants to see happy picture, okay. Mm -hmm. But if you want to think about it, there's yeah. more to it yes. than just the commercial image. Yeah. So anyway, I was told at Palm Spring Gallery that they wouldn't be able to use these pieces because it's not sellable. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. And that's the same story. You see the knife? Oh, yeah. To balance out the conscious and the subconscious. Mm -hmm. When I want to get let go with this free, and sometimes I put it on the floor like Jackson Pollock, mm -hmm. then I put music and then I let it go and then the subconscious would come. Mm -hmm. This is where the balance between matter that's the, that's how I the matter and spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's exciting. Yeah, because you you have to basically uh, stop letting your ego control what you're doing. Oh yeah, with. definitely. And and you have definitely. to just throw it on the floor and say, okay, I'm just gonna start yeah. letting the colors fall where they may. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not that I don't I I love fellow humans, but I don't want to I cannot afford to think about how to please mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. I have to be myself, I have to give myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's about the knife story. And that's part of it? <laughs> <laughs> These were the very first image integration. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, my husband loves to take photos of flowers. that he brought those images in. And these are my paintings. If you see that, this painting I used with the flower. Do you see the painting? Mm -hmm. Did the you back? take a picture of this and then, and yes. then incorporate it yeah, like that? Yes, the way? image. Mm -hmm. I put the image mm -hmm. into it. So it's really Beautiful. another photograph. Yeah, yeah. So I use my, and this again, it's another painting with the flowers. So let's, let's see what else we got in here. This is my oh, very goodies. first paintings. These are your first paintings here? First, yeah. In 1950? Is this 350? Yes. And so the, all of these were in 19... No, 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 no. Awesome price. That's only 50, no, no, 50 of each image. Oh, This is a print of the original. Oh. What year were all of these made? Uh, 60s. In the 60s? Early 70s. Wow. And what medium were you using? Uh, oil, acrylic, mm -hmm. mostly oil, that one. That has a nice story to it because we were very poor. And that encyclopedia lady came, mm -hmm. and I said I don't have money for to buy the encyclopedia, mm -hmm. and she took the original painting for the wow. encyclopedia. I still so have the encyclopedia. So you bought the encyclopedia set. Bartering, how do you say when you change? Yeah, you bartered. Yeah, bartered. You bartered. So she, so you said. So the she had the original came? painting someplace. Yeah, wow. I don't know where she is. That's great. And how much, do you mind if I ask how much would the original painting of this be worth? At those days, mm -hmm. just a few hundred dollars. A few hundred? How about now? How much would something like this be worth now? The original. The original, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't have this. Uh, Many over, of them are not. But I, it was, I it have was these. a few hundred dollars back then. It's got to be. But it would be, you know, and uh, two, three thousand dollars. You were not even born, I don't think. When they played the man and the woman. No, well, no, even if you were a little, little, little naughty <laughs> boy, <laughs> if you watch the movie. So anyway, it was a beautiful movie where you could see the facial expression of love making. Wow. And, and the, the pianist's soul. This, is, this to me represents like what you're talking about, where the artist is creating the colors and the tone and, mm -hmm. and, and the soul of the music. Mm -hmm. Through his, through his that's, what, that's what I wanted to say, that the pianist, although realistically is here with the hand, mm -hmm. but his spirit is in the music. Mm -hmm. That's what, you, you got it, exactly. And that's what it should be. Yeah. <laughs> this is the print of the, the Morovia. <laughs> okay. So this is where we usually have the I think you were here once or oh, twice, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. This is where we have the invitational artist. Beautiful. Now the difference between prints mm -hmm. and those paints, those artwork, that this is a print of an existing mm -hmm. painting. So this is only a print. The, in the other room, you will see that is the image integration, which is in oh, entirely okay. oh, itself. Great. So you've made you've made prints of all of the. Uh, of the this uh, is not prints. These are the original. These are the original. Um, if I make a print series, uh -huh. then I would have to number them. Huh? I would, you know, there would be a limited edition, for example. But right. these are, you see the way I sign it, like an original painting. This, is, uh -huh. this is one of my favorites here. Yeah. You know, I love this Bank of Shanghai. With mm -hmm. the with the uh, communist uh, symbol and and yes. then, uh, um, and then the little kids, is this? What are they dressed up as here? What are they here? Ooh, mm -hmm. They are pioneers. He called. Mm -hmm. I used to be when I was a little girl. So like Cub Scouts. Yes. Yeah. They have the dress. Uh -huh. I used to be one of those. Yeah. Wow. In Hungary. Oh, in Hungary, really? Yeah, they have them in really. Hungary too? Yeah. At that time. Is it a in those is it days, a communist yeah. thing? Yeah. So uh -huh. so so you being communist it's in like Hungary. It's like here here the how do you call it, the Cub Scout or. Uh, uh, well, it'd be like Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts, yeah, like yeah. Boy Scouts. But but so, but they had the exact same colors and everything. In, in, if in the Hungary? red, the, no, I didn't have the hat. Uh huh. But the red, it's the red scarf, scarves. That's so, so this is something that's not unique to China. Actually, at, no, it's communist. I mean, uh -huh. socialist. The ideology is uh -huh. the same. Right. Wow. That that's very very interesting. I didn't know that. And so you actually have a personal. Experience. It's oh, so yes. interesting to me to see that you, coming from Hungary, are able to take this snapshot in China, a completely different country, but have a, a first-hand experience as to what this, the meaning of this all is. Oh, yes. Even though it's a completely different culture than you were raised in. Yes. So you are right. It influenced the choice that mm -hmm. I photographed. Mm -hmm. What was close to me, what was attention, mm -hmm. it grabbed my attention because I went through this. This one, uh, this one, I mean. <laughs> this one, I think uh, you know a yeah. lot of people on Wall Street can identify with. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the 99 percent identify with this one. Yeah, <laughs> one percent and 99. I love the juxtaposition of, of the, uh, the the old looking statues, the dolls, and then the young you know kid playing with the doll. You know, it just. It really I helps. love her. I yeah. don't know why, but there is something about that little girl I love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really great. The immediate identifying image of the impressions of China, you have this like kind of very Chinese looking cityscape with, with this American, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and what does she got, like a Slurpee and, you know, it, it's just, and that's a real image from oh, China, yes. right? Oh yes, and the Kentucky Fried Chicken advertising. I mean, that, that you're, there's so identification there. You're not going to go to war with that culture. That's what I mean, no, we so are globalized. Right, we are. there's good and there's bad. Well, what is this, the saying you saying? I am you. You oh, are. Uh, oh, I'm another version of you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm another version of you. Exactly. There you go. And, and but there's good and there's bad in that because I'd rather be another version of you know the guy that made the great you know uh, statue or something. Okay, but I Kentucky have to say chicken. it when yeah. we come to the metaphysical way of thinking and feeling that mm -hmm. with the evolving process there is no it's it, it we sound as a human awful. 
But every individual goes through a process. Mm -hmm. And even the criminal, it's awful to say, mm -hmm. at a certain level. And if we hate it and we don't, we don't, we shouldn't identify, but a part of us mm -hmm. from him, he, we are sharing something. Mm -hmm. It's terrible to say, but that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. To me, this feels kind of cold. You know, it feels like, you know, a boy, she's just kind of been left out on the rocks and... I put you know, her gonna... on the rocks because in future you don't know whether the marriage, whether she's going to be happy or it will be bumpy. Mm -hmm. So to me, when I was putting these images together, that's mm -hmm. what it meant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, 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 and she it, almost has a look, you know, she looks kind of happy, but there's almost a nervousness quality about it. Probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> and this I put side by side because these ladies, they are reminiscing. Mm -hmm. And probably they are reminiscing, oh, those were the days, my friend, when I was that young and I was ah. that pretty or something. That's that. interesting. So it's like the old, the, the, it's like the older generation looking back on the, yes. on the girl on the rocks, uh -huh. you know, yeah. saying, I don't know, I hope she makes it. We made it through. And, yeah. you know, you know. Lance, I know you are interviewing me. I'm interviewing you. How did you start with this fantastic universe? Waking universe? Yeah, waking universe. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, it was just a, um, I just, I just had something I wanted to say and decided to start doing it. Oh, okay. that's all. Yeah. Oh, simple. <laughs> oh my. And I just, Anybody can starts, do it. But, no, but it's true. I mean, how does anything start? Yeah, you know, it just yeah. starts because you. Because you, you, you were asking me the same thing almost. Yeah. Why did I become an artist? Or mm -hmm. what happened? It happens. Yeah. You, I mean, you. You know. You, that's your interest. That's where your you're, interest. You're interested in something, and you don't have anything better. But to do this anything. is what's <laughs> needed. I hope mm -hmm. more and more people will realize that this is needed much more than the millions and the American dream. Mm -hmm. They only identify with economy and with money making and who has so, okay, we yeah, can. No, 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 yeah. no I, think that's, I think that you're absolutely right. I mean, it is, and it's like, what is the American dream? I mean, the American dream is, is uh, driving the right car, having the right uh, partners, the right friends, the right uh, business, whatever, whatever it is for you. You know, but but uh, when you lose that connection to the history and, and to your culture and to uh, the things that, that to cut the cards. cord. Yeah, yeah, like as soon as you've cut the cord on that, then um, you're lost. Yeah, you're separate. You're you're yeah. completely separate. You're alone, and then now you're operating out of uh, fear and desperation, yeah. as opposed to coming at it from a place of uh, joy and like expansion and yeah. art and creativity. Well, art is is, is 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 still evolving. It's still changing. There's no dogma to art. It's and art. that's good. You know, there's no. I mean, the, the the problem with I don't I don't think that religion in itself is a problem. It's dogma. You know, Done. it's the it's the, the the idea that it has to be my way or the highway. Yes. You know, and, and as soon as because becomes, God says right, so. Right. Because I have the inside track. Yeah. And as soon they as have you a have connection the inside track, with and, God. and then everybody else in the world is wrong again. Yeah. It's you versus everybody else, and and now it's all about fear, and it's about yes. you know, uh, well, if I don't do this, then I'm somehow messing yeah. up. You know, and 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 the thing about great art is that great art is liberating. You know, great art. Great art shows you that there's more than one way to look at a That's subject. That's right. I look at this painting and or this picture, and I say, um, "Well, this is my interpretation." But that's my interpretation. Mm -hmm. Someone else may have a completely different one. And that's you know? wonderful. Yeah, that's that's the open-endedness yes. of it. Uh -huh. Is that it because the universe has no end? Right. Infinity. We talk. Mm -hmm. So. And this interview could go on forever because we oh, talked so much. Oh, yeah, bro. Let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So this is used to be my working place oh, I when I, I painted. So do you, you still, are you still going to paint more or are you, do you think you're done painting? I, I don't think so. No? I too don't much, have the much desire. Much. Sometimes when I sign my name with mm -hmm. those little watercolor pencils, mm -hmm. I have the feeling. So I, 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 I don't say never. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but at the moment I am still very much involved with this process because I am just, although more than five years, I'm beginning to learn mm -hmm. the many, many possibilities. Mm -hmm. And I'm so young, you don't have plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he well, says, you so, know, I'm just so, uh, so this is a, uh, is this a stork? Oh, yes, this was from, uh, from uh, I call it uh, organic geometry. It's like a pattern here. Yes. And, um, it's interesting. This was Ibis. This was the saint bird for the for the pharaohs. Oh, okay. In Egypt. 
Well, this is really wonderful. You know, thank you so much for the tour. Is there, is there anything else we should see in here before? Well, we I don't know. Should we? Because you didn't come when it was you. Oh, you did. this is for me? Yes. Oh my for gosh, your birthday. I didn't <laughs> give you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, at home you open it. Are uh, you sure? I can open it on camera. I'm sure now everybody's yeah, going to see it. Yeah, you are not Not embarrassed. As, as long as it's not like uh, something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it? The, is it a cat? I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. In that time, you know. Oh wow! This is called meditation. It's called meditation. It's again Im image integration, not print. Oh wow! Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. That's really nice, and it's like, uh, and it's called meditation. Yes. Well, Spare this is that. an awesome way to end, end the interview. Oh, you know, thank you, know, you. To everybody at home, um, thank you for uh, watching this episode of Waking Universe. Um, it's been our distinct pleasure to, to visit Susan and Andre Dobe here at the Scenic Art Gallery in Monrovia, California, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure and I could talk with you for a long, long time. We will continue it. We will. We'll have a part two. We're going to have you into the studio. Oh. Take care. Say goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thanks.